I'm Bernard Tiao, uh, I'm an MRI physicist and uh, I work here at CAVI, Centre for Advanced Biomedical Imaging. Uh, but I also have a position at the Francis Crick Institute uh, as the head of the MRI facility there. Uh, the Crick Institute is uh, a collaboration between uh, six organisations. Uh, it's the Wellcome Trust, Cancer Research UK, uh, Medical Research Council and also three higher education establishments, UCL, um, Imperial and uh, King's College, King's College London. So it's um, you know, a, a, a big centre um, and it's being built uh, just uh, behind the British Library in King's Cross um, and it will uh, eventually employ about 1,500 scientists. Um, and the idea is to have a very sort of open and collaborative environment. So there are, we hope that there'll be lots of exchange of ideas between uh, the various research groups uh, that will be working there. My name is Mark Lisko. I'm Professor of Biomedical Imaging here at University College London and I'm Director of the Centre for Advanced Biomedical Imaging or more affectionately known as CABI. I am very excited about the Crick Institute. We're going to have our new imaging facility embedded within the Crick. Paul Nurse is the Director of the Crick and how he's described it, it will be a scientific institute with a completely new philosophy in that we won't have the boundaries that exist between existing disciplines, those departmental walls that means it's sometimes difficult to collaborate or just even move between facilities. It will be a place without boundaries, without walls, with ease of access. To have a place, one of the largest scientific institutes in the world, with completely open access for the facilities and the type of, type of disciplines that they're going to have there. And the philosophy is, that with this change in environment will allow us to really tackle those questions that the truth of it is we've been struggling to get answers for using our traditional models.